was certainly late coming into the Bahamas and being able to make some of their events for the Curfty Games. And so that allowance was made. So we'll have to wait to hear more. Yeah, Tiana Springer, the only Guyanese athlete in that lineup, the under 17 girls. But the boys are on track. There's a problem. Yeah, that's Dorich Roach of Barbados, who is down competitor 52, scheduled to start in lane number one. And doesn't look as if he will be able to compete. Doesn't look good. He's set for lane number one. So I'm walking around a while ago, would have just gone for a warm up sprint and apparently has injured himself in some way. And that's very disappointing. Shades of Hansel Parchment in the World Championships injured just before his race. And the same type of uh, empathy goes out to this young man from Barbados, about to run, unable to run. Tough for him. Yeah, certainly disappointing. He came all the way here to run, was able to compete in the rounds, warm up for the finals. And then right before the race starts, there's an issue. Seven athletes remaining for the final of the under 17 boys, 400 meters. Jalen Bennett, St. Kitts and Nevis, Kenrich Sharper, Nicole Bramwell, Jamaica, Andrew Brown, Bahamas, Dejon Grant, Guyana, Zion Shepherd, Bahamas, and Malachi Austin of Guyana. Bramwell looked the best in qualifying and comfortable. He's in lane four. Andrew Brown of the Bahamas was really good in qualifying as well at 48.94, the fastest qualifier. This should be some race. Brown, that tippy toe running style, took him across the line in front in his qualifying race. Now he must face the entire field in this final. Lane three, Kendrick Sharp won the. Jamaica Carifta trials with 50.31. Only the seventh fastest coming into this final, but he did win his semi final. That's why he has one of those preferred lanes. Lane three, Bramwell, Jamaica in four, Brown the fastest qualifier, 48 94, Bahamas in five, Grant of Guyana in lane six. Zion Shepherd of Bahamas also went on the 15 qualifying. He starts in lane number seven. On the 17 boys, 400 final. Andrew Prawn of the Bahamas in lane number five has gone out well. Deshaun Grant of Guyana in six also moving well, but Brown is right up on the shoulders of Deshaun Grant of Guyana. Nicoy Bramwell of Jamaica right into the mix as well as they go through 200 meters. And it's Bramwell who makes a big move as they are about to come into the straightaway, Nicoy Bramwell of Jamaica has a commanding advantage. Can they chase him down? The Jamaican in front. Shailen Bennett of St. Kitts and Nevis holding second. Brown is coming forward for the Bahamas, but Nicoy Bramwell blows them away. That is a stunner. 47 83. You were right, Hubert. He looked the best in qualifying, and he was by far the best in the final. Told you he looked the best, but not the fastest. But to do it in the final, to deliver the gold medal for your country. And he learning the 400 this season, his first season in the event full time. 47.86 for Nicoy Bramwell of Jamaica. Balanced race, uses speed all across the four quarters of this 400. Yes, he clearly had the race. He was impressed too much from the competitors behind. Also a good finish from Brown of the Bahamas. Just getting in there for that bronze place medal. The Carifta record 47-33 set by Usain Bolt. Nicole Bramwell at 47-86 gets within half a second. Jalen Bennett of St. Kitts and Nevis gets silver at 48.59 and Andrew Brown 48.68 for the bronze medal for the Bahamas.
Nicole Bramwell, a sprinter, Hubert Anthony, 100, 200. His high school had better 100, 200 sprinters in his age group this year, mm -hmm. decided to push him to the 400 meters with the thinking that he'll go back to the sprints next year. But after this, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they so are who, not sure. Who knows? Um, Usain Bolt had the record at this on under 17. He went to the 100 and the 200. It may be the same thing. Usain Bolt, <laughs> special <laughs> breed of human being. What applies to him does not always apply to everybody else. Yeah, that was some performance from Nicole Bramwell, though it's the best I've seen him.